Arizona. I'm an Arizona native, and one thing that I absolutely love is creativity and art. So today, I will be doing seven tips with Taisha Harrison. This is your tip number one. Choose or take a picture for inspiration. What that means is that sometimes we need help in guiding us on what to create, and that's okay. So I wanted to show you this. I have created this source for my inspiration for this painting right behind me. So it's okay if you have a source or if you've taken a photo, um, whether it's a flower, trees, your kids, your husband, your wife, whatever your inspiration is of creating your art piece, it's okay to have a photo to follow as a guide. That is your tip number one. On to tip number two. Tip number two, clean area and setup. One of the things that I absolutely love is having a clean area before working on art pieces. It just keeps the momentum going and it keeps me in high spirits. Moving on to setup. What I have here are multiple things that you can use for your art piece, such as acrylic paint. If you want, you can purchase the basic colors along with black and white to create the color wheel or just choose your favorite colors that you would like to create your artwork with. We have pencils. Pencils are really great for sketching your art pieces. Markers are really great for mark making. I have different size brushes, paper towels, and then a bucket of water if you do not have an old picture frame or a palette, you're more than welcome to use a paper plate. On to tip number three. Tip number three, stay grounded. Today I invited one of my friends to demonstrate this for you. This is my friend. <laughs> Just going out in nature, what that does to you is amazing. It grounds you. You can also meditate or even listen to music or doodling right before you paint. So that way it gets you out of the mindset that I'm not an artist when you are. Everybody is an artist. So surround yourself around nature, whether it's your house plant or being outside, taking a walk. Now to tip number four. Tip number four, setting intentions. It's very important to set intentions before you start your artwork, whether it's to have fun or set specific goals for your, your project. For me, what I like to do is play a pre-recorded power statement and set specific goals for the night before I step foot into my studio, which reminds me, I need to start setting my intentions now. Please excuse me. starting your painting. So this way you know what basic shapes to start with. On to tip number six. Tip number six, don't overthink it. Trust me, I've been there too. On to tip number seven. Ready for 
the last tip. Tip number seven, have fun. tips with Taisha. Number one, choose or take a picture for inspiration. Number two, make sure that your area is cleaned and you have a setup. Number three, stay grounded. Number four, set intentions. Number five, start with your basic shapes. Number six, don't overthink it. And number seven, just have fun.